today we're looking at the concatenate formula in Google Sheets. The concatenate formula combines values from different cells into a single cell. So this is very convenient when you're using something like first and last name and you want to combine it into a full name. So we're going to show you a couple different examples of how to use this. So let's go ahead and open up our formula. You notice there's one called concat and it looks very similar. Concat only allows you to do two values. Concatenate allows you to do multiple. And so that's the one we're going to do today. So if we simply select these two cells and put them together, drag this down. You notice it does combine them, but there's no space between the first and the last names. So what we're going to do to solve this is we're going to add another blank cell as our third option in this concatenate. Now if we drag down, you can see we have a space like you would expect in a full name. Now you can do more than just a blank space. So here we have a company and product and we want to combine it into an opportunity with a dash combining the company and the product. And so we can open our concatenate formula again, grab our company. Now instead of a blank space, we actually want a dash but I think we want a space on either side as well. So we're going to go ahead and make that in there as well. And so you can see now we have our full opportunity name with our company and our product combined with that dash. So in concatenate, you can use any text or symbol that you want. You can use formulas if you like. For example, we could do something seemingly random like a count. It shows how many and so forth. So the options are very broad. We could also do something like company and then we could do blank space and then product just like that and combine it in that way. Or we could even add a dash here to separate that. So concatenate is a very useful formula to be able to combine different texts or formulas along with different cells and to come up with the desired output in a single cell that you need. You can drag this down again here. You can see we have that now showing up beautifully. So that is it for today. Tune back again soon for more tutorials.